I will start with ggplot and say that our data is possum and specify aesthetics. For scatter plot, I need two numeric variables, one for x-axis, one for y-axis. So let's say on x-axis we want to put, so let's put a tail length on x-axis, T-A-I-L-L. So there are two L's. On the y-axis, let's put total length, T-O-T-L-N-G-T-H. So this is the total length. Put a plus sign, hit enter to specify like what plot we want. So geometric shape, G-E-O-M underscore scatter plot, we say point. So you run this and you get a scatter plot. Copy and paste. We can add a few things. Of a different color if you don't like the default. Alpha, let's say 60%. And then we can give a title. Another thing we can do is we can add trend line. So G E O M underscore smooth. When we try to put a trend line, it tries to fit a non-linear pattern with about 95% confidence band. We just want a clean line. We can say standard error S E should be zero. The method, linear method, we want a linear trend. It adds a trend line. If you want to put two trend lines, one for male, one for female, let's copy this part. We have X and Y, and then add one more within aesthetics C O L equal S E X. The trend lines get separated as per sex variable. Let's put one more variable on this plot. So one of the variables is I distance from medial canthus to lateral canthus of right eye. I'm going to just put it here as size. Size of those uh, dots can change as per this variable. So bigger versus smaller. So let's do 0.4. I'm going to copy this whole thing so that you don't lose that, but paste it here. So we can add a line, facet underscore wrap. And if we want to do this for factor variable, we can do that very easily. Um, I just have a question. So when you added the size equals I, like what does that function, the addition of that parameter, like actually add to the, what does that mean? <laughs> when that I variable takes a bigger value, the circle is bigger. And when it takes a smaller value, circle is smaller. Okay. But it's plotted on the X axis as tail length. No, no, it's not plotted on X or Y axis. It's mm -hmm. just determined by the size, size of the circle. Oh, okay. For example, this dot here, smaller dot. Yes. The smallest one, I size is 13. And the biggest that we see in the data set is uh, 17. So actually, I size varies from 13 to 17. And this is the smallest I can see. And this is the biggest I can see. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Some of the dots are darker than others. Is that due to duplicate data overlapping one another? So that's a overlap. Like you can see these two circles. The common area you see is darker. And when the entire circle is darker, that means there are two data points at least. Thank you. I will use a data set called animals where A is uppercase. Just to see this body weight is in kilograms and brain weight is in grams x-axis so let's put body brain weight as a function of body and y will put brain so this is data on 28 species of land animals with plus sign geom underscore point so you'll find that uh, most of the values are concentrated on the lower end there are such data sets uh, where we are not able to clearly see any trend or pattern because the values are concentrated in one corner. So that's where we can try log scale. So I'm going to copy and paste and add a layer. Scale underscore X and underscore log. So we'll make X axis and we'll also make Y axis log scale. Log 10. You can see the linear pattern becomes more clear compared to what we had in the original scale. For bar plot, I will go back where we created this uh, new data. 
So let's copy this and paste it here. Just select my data and run. So my data contains site, tail ratio, and count. So ggplot my data on the x-axis. Let's say we want site and we'll say factor right because one two three it may think that uh, it's a numeric variable but we know that site is a factor variable the y-axis will put uh, this tail ratio add a plus sign and for bar plot we say geom underscore we get a bar plot usually in this situation sometimes we want to flip the coordinates, put data on x-axis on the y-axis and y on the x-axis, plus coordinate c-o-o-r-d underscore flip. You can do that flipping very easily. Fill with the different color, we can say fill equals. If I do factor side, if I only put side, it thinks it's a numeric variable and tries to give colors in a different way. some gg plot so for box plot uh, we'll say x equals let's put let's have two box plots one for male one for female and we need a numeric variable so let's use test we can also put color as per the factor variable add a layer to say we want a box plot so you can see the chest girth in centimeters for female it's higher the median is higher and in fact this box itself is slightly higher compared to male possums we can also do this box plot in a slightly different way instead of x equals this variable here i will say interaction interaction between sex and sight all possible combination of these two variables let's in boxes based on this variable other things we can keep it same all possible combinations of male versus female versus seven sites so 14 different box plots if you want to play with the transparency you can do that so i'm going to go back to scatter plot where we had tail length versus total length simply copy this part to where we also had this trend line and go down here because for marginal plot we do need scatter plot and then we'll create histogram or density plots on the margins so let's put this plot in p when we run this instead of getting output here we'll store this in p and then we can say gg marginal so could not find this function called gg marginal i think there's a package called gg extra all that and run try again let's see okay we can also like uh, fill those marginal plots using fill equals any color that you like and default is a density plot but if you prefer histogram you can say type equals histogram or density whatever you like it looks very nice, but I'm not sure if I understand what the significance or meaning uh, of the, the green blobs on the top and on the right are, are trying to indicate. It gives us a confidence that uh, one, there is a linear relation and other, the marginal plots are more or less symmetrical. So the bars on the top are the errors and the Ys and the bars on the right are the errors in the, oh, I'm sorry, uh, are, yeah, wait, are the errors in the Xs, is that right? This histogram is based on tail length data. And, okay. And total okay. length will look like this. Got it.